Hey guys, what's going on? James here, and in this video today, we are going to be talking about how the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have made a brand new signing. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers have signed running back Le'Veon Bell to their roster, and I am not alone today in this video to talk about this signing. Joining me, the host and co-host of the Cannon Fire Podcast, we got Rhett, we got Evan. Guys, how we doing right now? Good, Doing good. Hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. So listen, we're going to talk about this signing right now. Take a few minutes, talk about what this means for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers uh, going forward with the remainder of this regular season, going into the playoffs as well. Real quick, though, I do want to say this. This does not mean that Leonard Fournette is 1,000% done for the year. I've already seen some comments talking about that, saying, oh, Leonard Fournette's done. Uh, Evan, real quick, can you, sh you know, shine a little bit of light on what's going on regarding the Leonard Fournette situation? Yeah, so Adam Schefter, shortly after the Bucks made this move, Adam Schefter um, tweeted that it's likely that Leonard Fournette's going on injured, injured reserve, which this year means at least three games. So there's three regular season games, so he's done for the regular season. He will not return for the regular season. However, Schefter also reported that the expectation is that Fournette should be fine for the playoffs. Uh, he should be good if the Bucks, you know, obviously the one seed sort of seems out of reach now. So it seems like they're going to have to play in the wild card round. Uh, it seems like Fournette will be able to play in that game. So it, it does seem like he avoided a major injury. It's just that, you know, not going to see him the rest of the regular season. But, you know, with the Bucks at this point, they're more looking for the playoffs anyway. It's more about long term at this point. Right, so so for everybody wondering, everybody freaking out, saying, oh, the sky's falling, we're, we're all done for, Leonard Fournette is going to be back for the Buccaneers' playoff run. An important thing to make a note of there. But, Rhett, we'll go ahead and start with you. What does Le'Veon Bell bring to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers here, joining Ronald Jones and Keyshawn Vaughn and, hey, Kenyon Barner as well uh, in this Buccaneers running back room? Talk about that real quick. Well, you know, with the injuries that are already hitting the running back room like you just mentioned Leonard Fournette going to be missing the rest of the regular season he is a veteran presence in there right we, we saw a little bit of Keyshawn Vaughn in that game against the Saints and truthfully I don't think the Bucks liked what they saw very much and and I don't personally trust what Keyshawn Vaughn was able to do and that's not any slight against him as a player it's just you know like Bruce Arians said about Antonio Brown it's whatever is in the best interest of this football team and right now I think a veteran presence like Le'Veon Bell is going to give you that but you know, he's your third down guy. He is your receiving back every now and again. He's probably got better hands than a Ronald Jones and a Keyshawn Vaughn because Vaughn had that costly drop against New Orleans as well. Um, Gio Bernard's still going to be missing a couple of games, so you're missing another receiving back. So, you know, he's kind of an insurance policy. It's just something you can feel good about having in that backfield, a veteran presence, a guy who's been there, done that, and he can go out there and just do his job when you need him to. Uh, will he stick around through the playoffs? possibly I, I don't know I guess it just depends on what this running back room is going to look like but he definitely could have a presence on this team throughout the postseason uh, if they make a run but you know I'm curious to see how he fits in but definitely like a you know a third down reserve kind of guy for sure for sure Evan what are your thoughts here on the Le'Veon Bell signing uh, for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers yeah, I mean, you know, to me, it's a very low risk. Um, I mean, there, there's not much to it. He's going to play the final three regular season games. He's not going to be the starter. So, you know, for those big Ronald Jones fans, Jones is still expected to get the bulk of the carries. Uh, Le'Veon Bell is there for basically to be the third down back, especially since G Gio Bernard is also out. I think if Gio Bernard was healthy, maybe they don't make this move. But you needed to have a more reliable back than Keyshawn Vaughn to be in on third downs. Um, and I think Le'Veon Bell brings that. He brings that veteran presence of playing in some big games. So if you do decide to keep him in the playoffs, injuries can happen at any point, as we just saw, right? Uh, the Bucs just had a rash of injuries on Sunday night when you were expected to win, and all of a sudden you come out with a loss and a bunch of major injuries. Um, so to have that veteran depth, I think, is important. And uh, I think that's why they went out and made this move. Look, it, it's for the minimum. Most likely, he's going to play the final three regular season games. I just, I, I don't really think that there's much to hate about this signing. Yeah, you know, just to kind of echo what both of you guys just said here, I got to agree. Le'Veon Bell, he's going to come in. He's going to be that receiving back. He's going to be that guy who's going to pass block. Maybe, you know, with time and development and, you know, learning the offensive scheme, maybe by the time the playoffs start, if Fournette isn't back 
and Gio Bernard isn't back as well. Maybe we could see Le'Veon Bell get some more, you know, snaps as a pure running back. But I think that that's Ronald Jones' job right now. He was a thou- he was almost a 1,000-yard rusher last year. He's like 25 yards short. He's going to be that main guy. Le'Veon Bell was brought in to do what Ronald Jones and Keyshawn Vaughn, at least as far as we've seen, cannot do. And that is catch the football out of the backfield and pass block. And I think that's good because Tom Brady needs a safety valve type of running back like that. I think it's always a good weapon to have on an offense, right? And Le'Veon Bell, while, you know, both you guys have said this, he's not the same Le'Veon Bell he was back in, say, 2015, 2016, um, you know, those years. He's still, I feel, a serviceable running back who can get the job done when you need him to. And um, overall, I think, in some certain situations, be productive and be efficient for this Buccaneers offense. And, you know, in terms of playing time and whatnot, you know, we'll see. You know, it could be a situation, you know, I talked about this um, on your guys' video on the Cannon Fire podcast. Uh, you know, it could be like a LaShawn McCoy type situation where you just have a solid veteran running back, you know, a guy who's been to the mountaintop before, you know, been to playoff games, has had these great accolades, um, and he's just kind of a part-timer. You know, that could be something that I definitely see Le'Veon Bell having as a role, at least initially, you know, after that, we'll see what happens. But like you said, Evan, it's hard to not like this move, right? Myself, personally, I'm a fan of this move. I think both of you guys would agree with that. I, overall, I think this is a solid uh, and necessary signing for this Buccaneers offense here for the remainder of the regular season. And if you need that insurance uh, for the playoffs as well, you have that um, now here. Uh, Rhett, Evan, uh, real quick, uh, you know, I want to thank you guys for being here on this video. It is greatly, greatly appreciated. Uh, for those of, uh, you know, the people here who are not subscribed to the Cannon Fire podcast, go subscribe to their YouTube channel. I will have it linked in the pinned comment down in the comment section below. So definitely go check out their work. I'm always on their show uh, and they do fantastic, phenomenal uh, live streams, videos, everything. So go check them out. Guys, what do you think? Let us know your thoughts about this signing down in the comment section below. Do you like it? Do you hate it? What do you think about Leonard Fournette, Giovanni Bernard, Ronald Jones, Keyshawn Vaughn? Heck, you know, if you have some strong thoughts about Kenyon Barner, put them down there in the comment section as well. We, you know, we'd love to uh, hear and read all your guys' thoughts and opinions. But uh, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you guys all enjoyed. And as always, we will see you in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now and go Bucks.